Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. In my previous videos, I've talked to you about how you can start using NixOS. NixOS is no doubt a great Linux distribution, but it can be quite difficult to use sometimes, especially if the package is not available anywhere, or you need to debug something. What if you want to try Nix on your current Linux distribution or even macOS? Well, you can actually install Nix on any Linux distribution. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install it and what you can use Nix for. Let's get started. First of all, let me open my browser. Go to my blog, this post. Next, I'm going to create a new VM. I'm going to use Ubuntu 20.04 as an example today. Um, maybe call next demo um, 201 clone. Okay. All right, I will fast forward this part and let Cloud need to uh, prepare the VM for us. Okay, that's all done. Let's log in. Wrong password. Okay. All good. So let's have a look at the IP address. Uh, 148. All right. So 148. All good. So we can um, close this window. Close this one as well. Now that the VM is ready, we can start installing Nix. Let me just go to copy this command. Um, I'm using the Nix installer uh, for Nix installation. Um, feel free to use the official installer if you want to. Um, let me enlarge the text. Paste in. Yes. Done. So now we can exit and coming back again. All right, we have Nix ready. I would like to start talking about some Nix command first. So the first Nix command we are going to cover is Nix search. So normally, if you want to find a package um, that you can use on Nix, you will go to nixos.org, um, click this button, and you know search your package name here. What if you don't have a browser? Then you can just use Nix search to do the job. So let's say I want to Nix search Nix PKGS Helm. I can do that. Um, the first time you run it, it will be um, slow because there is no cache. Let's wait for it. Okay, so after the first run, we can search again. So you can see it's a lot quicker, but apparently it doesn't really help us to find Helm, right? So let's try to add more keywords like Kubernetes. All right, so we have less results, but still we have a lot of um, entries here. Let's try to narrow it down. So we know it's not a plugin, so we can hyphen E as exclude and plugin plugin. So we want to exclude the plugins. Now we only have a few left, so this is the one we want to use. So as you can see, the Nix search command is very handy for use to find the package name um, on your terminal, so you don't have to use a browser. So next, I'm going to talk about Nix run. The Nix run commands allow you to run the package without installing them. What does that mean? So let's say there will be some commands that you just need to run once. I'm going to use Kause as example here. So currently I don't have Kause installed here apparently. And if I hit um, Nix run, um, Nix PKGS, Kause, hello world. So you can see I can run Kause. So if I say I just want to Apple, so it give me an Apple, but um, Kause is actually not installed. I can also um, use Nix run in the um, command pipes. So here is example, I'm going to curl some endpoints and then I can um, 
use next run to give me JQ to kind of filter the result. If you need to pass in some flags, you can also do it with two dashes, uh, very similar to Kubernetes, right? So uh, let's copy that, next run. As you can see, we've got a help menu here. Next run can also be used in, let's say, a shell script when you when we know the host machine has Nix installed, but you're just not sure if the CLI tool is available, right? Nix will take care of that and then you know make sure the CLI command is available on the host machine so your script works. Alright, so let's move on to the next one I want to talk about, which is Nix shell. The differences between Nix run and Nix shell is Nix shell gives you a shell with the CLI installed, but Nix run, it doesn't give you a shell. Let me show you how what it looks like. So let's say I want to do Nix shell and I need Calse on my local. So I can do Nix P KGS, put in Calse, and then now I have Calse available for us. Hello, tomato, right? So it's very, very easy to get a CLI installed on the shell without installing it. So if I don't need it, I can exit. So if I run um, calse again, calse will not be available. So this is very handy when you need to use the CRI several times and you don't bother to use Nix run every single time, right? All right, moving on is um, Nix profile. From my understanding, Nix profile command is very similar to Nix env. Uh, I should say Nix hyphen env command. Um, so which means you will actually install um, the software or packages um, to a local user uh, in an imperative way. Um, that's why I don't recommend you to do that because um, if you need some software in the long term, I think you should put it on your configuration file instead of, you know, install it imperatively. But I will show you how you can use Nix profile. So let's say I want to install Calse. Next profile, install, sorry, install next pkgs, calse. So now I have calse install. Even if I, um, you know, log out of my server and go back in, I still have calse tomato. We can also check how many softwares are installed with next profile by typing next profile. Um, list so you can see uh, currently there is only one if I want to delete that I can type Nix profile remove zero and it's gone so cal say is gone um, the next one I want to talk about is Nix develop this is probably my most used Nix commands what this command does is it will set up a develop environment for a specific project Imagine you have three projects that on hand. One is Node.js, one is Python, one is Go. And you don't want to install so many dependencies for each project on the host machine. With Nix develop, you can define what are the dependencies you need on a flake file, then put this flake file in the individual folders. And every time you go into that folder, type in Nix develop, you will have everything you need just inside that folder. Let me show you how. So I've got a blog post before, which is to show you how you can generate JWE tokens. Um, I think I'm using Python here, right? So I'm going to demonstrate how you can do that. So let's just copy this one and make a new folder. Um, and I'm going to save this file as jwe.py. I also need to generate two um, keys. So one is ISA keys, the other one is ECC keys. So if you are going to run Python, jwe.py, apparently it doesn't work. We need to have the environment set up for us. Let's go back to this one and copy this um, content and save it to flakes.nix, flake.nix. So let's have a look what it does. It essentially just gives us a Python environment, which is Python 3.11, and then it will install um, the JW Crypto um, library for us as well. So let's just save it, and then we can type 
next develop all right so let's run python jwe.py as you can see we've got a jwe token so if i exit and run again doesn't work right so it's very very handy for you to set up the um, development environment um, and it's only slow the first time you run it so the next time you type uh, next develop you're straight in right so just you can run python jwe.py again so this is very very handy for you to set up different uh, development and dependencies for each project I'm currently putting um, flake.nix files to all my projects. So I will have some specific CLIs for different projects myself. So let me just exit and move forward to the next command. I think it's nixflake. So I have to be honest that I only use nixflake update to update the, um, um, the channels on uh, flake.log file. So I will leave this one for you to explore, okay? Um, so after talking about this uh, next commands, I'm going to move on to home manager. This is to show you how you can manage application and um, configurations in a declarative way. Um, you can follow the official documentation to um, run this command to in for installation. It's very, very handy. Um, it will create a flakes.nix and home.nix under this folder. Uh, but for the purpose of um, showing how you can actually run um, home manager from different um, folders uh, I'm not going to use that but you if you want to just have a quick start please follow the official documentation all right so the first thing we want to do is to create some folders so let's go back create these folders and then we are going to create our flake file so um, nix flake.nix uh, we just need to change the username to your username in here I'm going to use my username um, the next one is the home.nix which is nix home manager and then home.nix we need to do the same thing just to change the username by back to my username So on this home.nix file, you can see I'm using home manager to manage itself, right? And I'm also installing NeoFetch um, for this user. After that's done, we can um, use nix run to uh, install home manager for us. So this is the command I'm going to run. So basically it will be nix run home manager. So it will give me the home manager CRI, do a switch and then find the flake and the user okay okay so the first build success which means i should have home manager cri now right and we should also have near fetch no problem perfect that's exactly what we want to see so the next one i want to talk about is how you can manage your applications with home manager there are really two ways of um, installing softwares. So the first method is that if you only need to install a software without managing its configuration, you can simply use Nix search to find the package name, or you can go to the official site to search the uh, application. Then you can put it under home.packages. Uh, let me show you an um, example. So let's go to Nix home manager. Um, and home.nix. So let's say I want to install JQ. I can put it here, do a home manager, switch flake, and then nix um, user. Once that's done, I have JQ installed, right? So this is how you can install the software without managing its configuration. If you want to use Home Manager to manage the um, software configurations at the same time, you need to go to Home Manager documentation first, 
find if your application is supported. So for example, if you search ZSH, it's there, right? If you say Expenso, it's also there. Um, of course, micro editor is there. But if the software is not listed here, you can't use Home Manager to manage the configurations. So let's just copy um, this content and we can create Nix Home Manager Apps Micro.Nix. And then we need to import Micro back to um, Home Manager Home.Nix file. So I'm going to copy this part and go to Nix Home Manager Home.Nix. Save and then we can do home manager switch. All right, once that's done, we can use micro, right? So you can see uh, the micro we install here. We have some color themes, we have tab size as two, etc. etc. So that means the uh, configurations is also managed by home manager. The last thing I want to talk about is upgrades and garbage collects. Um, let's say you want to update the um, package version. So what you need to do is go into the folder and run Nix Play Update. It will update the package or it will update the channel to the latest version. Ah, oh, we are lucky. We really get a new one. As you can see, this uh, Nix package is updated. So now we can do home manager switch um, flake. Uh, but this time, because I'm inside a folder, I can type user. All right, switch. All done. That means there is no package to update, although the channel has been updated. So this is how you update your channels, right? And then uh, home manager switch command will actually update the package version. Um, the last thing I, is the uh, garbage collect. So let's say um, when you're trying these things and installing and installing softwares, um, you probably want to run the next door GC to do the garbage collect for you. So we have um, free 700 megabytes. To understand how to optimize storage, please read this wiki page, but you probably don't want to garbage collect all the time. Okay, so that's all I want to cover in today's video. Um, I hope you can start using Nix. And if you have any questions or I made any mistakes, please leave your comment down below and so I will get back to you. Okay, thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.